Welcome in to the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always mm -hmm. for your tweets. Ali is here, as is Don and Gab. It's a very special day today. You know why, Ali? Why is that? It is my Josh's eighth birthday. Wow. What a moment. Wow. And look at this. Look at that, look oh, at look cake at that cake. Cake. Isn't that cool? What? That's Joshy and Poffy. Oh. Very much celebrating That's, life. Did you make that? I did make it, yes. Oh. I I whittled it myself <laughs> yes. from, from wood that I found in the garden. <laughs> uh, so congratulations, uh, Joshy. Eight today. Uh, the countdown, of course, is on for Don's baby's uh -huh. arrival. That's, is that April, Don? Looking well with April, it? April, mate. April, yeah. By Beautiful. the way, by the way, Dan, I love how the percentages have now gone towards Alessandro Del Piero. I think that's amazing. Does well, that mean I'm fair exempt? Not, fear not, there's more percentage questions to come, Don. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but the first question is food related. Okay. Don, do you think it was the ketchup ruining Kane's form? <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. See, this absolutely wrecks my brain when managers try to flex their muscle and say, right. The reason why we're losing games is because you're having ketchup and mayonnaise. I mean, how utterly ridiculous. Gavin Potty, though, told me earlier, better. look at Arsene Wenger. He came in, made those changes, and it made a huge difference. Uh, I think I think you might find it was the alcohol reduction that done it for Arsene Wenger, not the ketchup. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there we go. OK. Do you like ketchup, Don? What? Can't stand it, mate. Brown really? sauce all the way. Yeah, brown sauce all the way. We not allowed brown sauce either on a Conte. Nope. nope. What's worse, books or ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> I love books. I love books. I've read them books behind me. I love them. It's a myth that I don't like books. Well, you, said yesterday, can't... you said yesterday you don't like books. You prefer to watch the movies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared to movies, like I was watching, I was watching American Gangster and Man <laughs> on Fire the other day and Heat. Now, are you telling me, like Ali said, <laughs> if you're reading, if you're reading a book? Can you, can you get a true representation of a Denzel Washington character by a book? You can't. You get it visually. You watch Denzel and it's all about his look. I wouldn't get that from a book. But, Don, there are so many examples of the books being so much better than the movies. I know, but my eyes like... My, I like visuals. Like sports autobiographies. What if there were pictures in the book? <laughs> Guillaume Balaguer's, Guillaume Balaguer's Maradona and Gab's book behind me. Amazing. Yeah, I know, but that's, Amazing. That, that's factual book. We're talking about fiction. Yeah, and I like to see it. I like to watch <laughs> Denzel Washington. I like to watch him. Hey, that's a I good like to watch what was your favourite part of Gab's Robert book, Don? What was your favourite so part in particular of Gab's book? I'd have to read it again. <laughs> <laughs> I've just come off the bar back of Maradona, so I'd have to go back to Gabs to wow. read it again. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you read it. He definitely didn't read it. I did. I've read it. I promise I've read it. Yeah, your voice went a bit high when you said <laughs> Um Gab, what is Maguire trying to prove with the finger and ear celebration today that a goal against Albania makes up for his disastrous form with his club? I don't know, but I tell you what, I think he wishes he hadn't done it because the reaction here in England's been absolutely yeah. like, like what an utter tool uh, to go and do that. This is obviously not the time. Those are his own fans. Um, it's 10 minutes into the game. You don't know, you know, what catastrophes may or may not happen later. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I found Maguire moderately, you know, like fairly likable as, 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 as a person, but... I think he's going to want to have this one back because this doesn't even fit the Maguire persona. Um, hmm. It's just the wrong thing for somebody like him to do. And it's two different scenarios. It's, it's, it's two different animals. This is national team against Albania. Yeah. At Wembley, you're, ex you're supposed to win this game. If you score a goal, yeah, that's okay, big deal. But it has nothing to do with your performance with your club. It, it, again, it's two different animals altogether. And for him to try to blame those two worlds and saying, OK, because I scored against Albania, now you guys are wrong. Yeah, no. Nope. Gareth Southgate said maybe he's a Hulk Hogan fan. Oh, OK, well, maybe. Absolutely. He's yeah. no ultimate warrior, but, though, yeah. is he, Gab? <laughs> Woo! No, yeah, that's exactly. I, I think Gareth might want to leave the uh, wrestling references to one side. Okay. For Don, what percentage chance does Scotland go to the World Cup? In the playoffs, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know who we're going to get. I mean, I wouldn't want Poland. Um, so I'd just say 50-50 because I've got no idea who we're going to draw. 
Oh, wow. Mm. There you go. You excited, Don, by that prospect? Yeah, yeah, I like the playoffs. I mean, I was no good in them. We lost to England 2-1 uh, on aggregate when I uh, actually scored the winner at Wembley. And oh, then we is. beat... Irrelevant. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Irrelevant. And there then we, is. You still and then lost a couple on years aggregate. later... Irrelevant. There then a couple of years later, we drew Holland at Hamden in a two-legged playoff. Uh, and we beat them 1-0. James McFadden scored. We beat the mighty Dutch 1-0, which was an amazing result. Then I was in my room with Christian Daly, and we both live in Essex, and Rod Stewart lives in Essex. So Rod Stewart ran Christian Daly and said, if we get a famous win or we don't get embarrassed, do you and Don want to fly back on my private jet back into Essex after the game in Amsterdam? And we went, absolutely. We'll fly back. 6-0 we lost. Oh. Couldn't fly back. <laughs> Couldn't fly back. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Rod Stewart, by the way, doing the Scottish Cup draw is something you should check out on YouTube. Oh, it is magnificent. I, I tell you, he managed in that participation yes. to mention the fact that he scored at Wembley. Yes. And, and, and the fact that he knows Rod Stewart. Well, uh, I, I don't Christian, know. It sounds like Rod. Christian Daly knows Rod Stewart better. Yes, yes. that he, was, he happened to be sort of in the he background. He was a plus one. Yeah, he was a plus one. <laughs> he was the plus Absolutely. one in the conversation. <laughs> uh, that was it. Um, Gab, have, have you ever traveled on a private jet with anyone that we would know? Uh, I have been on a, on, on a privately chartered uh, plane, yes, but probably not with anybody you would know. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, oh hey, this sounds hey, different level. <laughs> Denzel. He was there with Denzel. It sounds, ex <laughs> sounds exciting. Was it a movie star, Gab? Who was it? Oh, wait, go. No. Pretty sure oh. traveled wood with Craig Burley. Does he count? No, no. he definitely doesn't count. <laughs> no, not on a private jet. <laughs> Burley's never been on a private jet. <laughs> Burley's not allowed on a oh, private Burley. jet. He'd moan about it. <laughs> 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 Ali, can the dark art of diving and deceiving match officials be coached into a player? Or is it something you were just born with? Wow. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have to have it. <laughs> you have to have it. Yeah. You can coach it, but there's a feel to it. And there are certain moments that you can read what a defender is about to do and, and, and the tendencies that certain defenders have. And, and so slowing down so the defender runs you over or some, sometimes the defender that overcommits himself. Those things you can teach that look out for these things. Now, the execution of the dive or the execution of the embellishment. Look at the pride, the pride. Drawing the foul. That's something that you got to have, baby. You were born with that. Will Don take another photo of himself getting knocked out if West Ham stay in the top four through the end of the season? <laughs> of course I will. But I've got to get knocked out, have I? <laughs> OK. Why if can't we just take a normal fifth picture? <laughs> if we all had dinner with Gab and Conte, okay. who would get more upset if we all started putting ketchup on our steak? Oh. Of course the steak must be well done. <laughs> oh. oh, Gab! Oh. Um... You know what? I have a strong feeling that it would be... Well, all right. Unless you guys were all playing for Antonio Conte, I think he could care less. He'd say, all right, go ahead. Enjoy your and, and, and enjoy your ketchup. Enjoy your mayo. Whatever. Uh, you're not, I'm not picking you in my team. So unless you were his players, I don't, think he, I don't think he would care. I, however, as you know, yeah, I'd be a little bit nonplussed by, by you, you guys decided, by, by, by Don deciding to go and burn his steak and then and, and slather it in brown sauce. Yeah, probably. If it was Don who did that. Wow, wow. Don. Why well, he took a shot. Don Three shot Don's there. Well, Although Pablo Sabaleta was telling us, wasn't he, in Argentina, they have it all well done, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. What do you make of that, Cam? Mm hmm. Take that. First of all, not every single person in Argentina <laughs> has it well done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the Zabaleta household, but uh, but yeah, no, look, look, that's fine. It's different cultures. People like different things. Some people enjoy that stuff. And why is your voice Other high? people come from a culture with a world-renowned cuisine. You know, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. But I find it done. Yeah, I find it. I, I find it go. more disgusting that people yep. have steak and they have it blue and there's blood all over the plate. I mean, to me, that's horrendous. But, but we're not talking blue, Tom. We're just talking like a medium rare, aren't we, no, but basically? Some, some people, I would imagine, Frank probably so, has his steak blue. Don, <laughs> Don, I'm assuming you've never eaten steak tartare, yeah? No, not for me. Peppercorn, peppercorn sauce on the top, okay. Gab. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Don, what's the percentage chance Dani Alves' return to Barcelona will be a success? 100. Wow. 100. That's good. I like it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That brings to the end of today's show. Hey, hey. Well, thank you very much, as always, uh, for watching ESPN SC. We'll be back. You back with me tomorrow, Ali? Yes, I am. Some more World Cup qualifiers. You better believe Kibana. it. Perfect. That'd be good. <laughs> uh, be sure to join us, and we'll be reflecting as well on the US against Mexico. Oh, are they playing? Apparently so. I haven't heard. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.